my channel. So today I'm bringing you the ultimate guide and try on for spring essentials. So I have a bunch of clothes out here and I hope this video isn't going to be too long, but I'm going to try to get through this quick. Um, these are the, my basics. These are the things that I wear day in and day out all spring. So I'm going to just get started. So this is an outfit that I would wear every day. It's just a basic pair of uh, sweatpants and a basic white t-shirt. Um, I got these at Target and these are the Stars Above uh, gray sweatpants and I believe this is the New Day t-shirt. So just plain, simple, everyday wear basic. Um, and I just put them on with a pair of my uh, black sandals from Sam Edelman and I got these at Marshalls. So easy outfit to put together. Um, very basic, everyday essential. So this is a really popular trend right now. So bicycle shorts and a crop tee. It is a look, it's a trend. Um, you can wear it with just plain um, sneakers, white sneakers, or a pair of just black flats, sandals, or you can even do a textured sandal or uh, a patterned sandal. But this I got from Pretty Little Thing, and it's just this basic black cropped tee. And I will try all of this on for you and I'll try to just insert the clips in between. And these are the bicycle shorts I got also at Pretty Little Thing. Now, I got these in a size US 6. And their site says, according to my measurements, that I wear a US 6. Well, apparently not in everything because these do not fit. They are too big. Um, so if you're going to get the bicycle shorts from Pretty Little Thing, absolutely size down, maybe one or two sizes. There's a ton of stretch in here, um, along with um, them being too big. It's just, I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to wear these. So either I send them back or I don't, and more likely I don't. So, so there's that. So I will try that on and I'll insert a clip, like I said. Okay, so I went and picked up a pair of bicycle shorts from Walmart because the other ones just, I literally could not show you because they looked completely ridiculous. So this is um, the bicycle shorts with the Pretty Little Thing crop t-shirt um, with just my Air Maxes. Uh, I, I like this outfit. These shorts are actually too small because I ended up getting them in a size extra small and a one because that's all they had left on the clearance rack, but my daughter can wear these. I mean, I obviously, um, they, they come down a little bit low in the back. So, but I just wanted to show you the look because it is cute. You can wear this around. This is totally something that anybody could wear. It's totally appropriate for any, any place that you go in the summer and the spring. Um, and you, I'm going to throw on the gray sweatshirt with it so you can see what that looks like as well. You can also throw a jean jacket on with this and that would be totally appropriate too. So, so here it is with the sweatshirt on over top of it. Um, really cute guys. It's such a cute look. Um, go from day with your t-shirt to night, just throw a sweatshirt on and this totally works. So I feel comfortable in it. Um, I love this sweatshirt. I love the cropness of it, but I love the bulkiness of it as well. It's thick, it's warm. It's, I love the gray. I love the zipper on the side. This is a, a Velcro on the, on the sleeve that comes off. You could probably roll that up and that would look cute as well. So yeah, this is, this is adorable. Um, again, with the bicycle shorts. Now, I don't know what the heck I was thinking with these bicycle shorts. I love the color and I'll tell you how I'm gonna wear them. But they're so long and they're so stretchy and they're too big and again, size six. Um, but I will try to find these in a smaller size and in a shorter uh, length because they really do look ridiculous. I'm gonna show them to you anyway, and I'm gonna show you with what I would, how I would pair these. Typically, I would just wear like a uh, cropped, um, like a little cropped, this is inside out, crop tank, crop tee, crop tank, whichever one, and you can wear these two together. Super cute look, pair of white sneakers, done. Um, however, you also could wear them with this. I also got a pretty little thing and I think this is so cute and so adorable. It is a little cropped sweatshirt. So I got this in a small and I also got it in 
gray. So I got it in the camel and I got it in, also got it in the gray. And you can wear both of these guys with your bicycle shorts. Um, say at night in the evening, um, you're done with your t-shirt and it's getting a little cold, throw one of these over it. So cute, same outfit, just for you know the evening. And I really like these, these are really cute. You can wear these with jeans, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them white jeans, you can wear them with anything. They're just so versatile and uh, I'm so glad that I picked these up. Okay. I could not get away without showing you guys these ridiculous looking bicycle shorts, but why I wanted to show you this is because I love the color combination. I love the dark camel color with the lighter color. I love this kind of look where it's the same color with different shades. I think that is so super cute, totally on trend right now. So like with a light gray pair of sweatpants and maybe a little darker of a gray sweatshirt or t-shirt, I think that's totally a cute look. Um, these are, like I said, completely ridiculous. Um, I actually hiked them up so they didn't look totally stupid, but, and I had to roll them down at the top as well to make them look even halfway decent. But yeah, so I love the idea of this. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, but yeah, these, I don't recommend these shorts. They're very thin. Uh, they're not very, they don't have any um, hold to them. So whatever shape you are, you're gonna see every little tiny inch. And look how long they are, guys. They look so stupid. But yeah, I just wanna show you the color scheme together because I think it's really cute. So the next thing I got, again from Pretty Little Thing, is these sweatpants. These are so comfortable, guys. There's a little pocket. And it's not really deep, so it doesn't go all the way down your thigh and give you this huge pocket, um, thigh, huge looking thing. It's tiny little pocket. Um, but I love these. I love the drawstring on them and the bottoms look like this. I just roll them up and I'll put a pair of sneakers on with them, but they do have the um, elastic bottom, which I guess is like the popular thing right now. So yeah, I wore this outfit actually. Um, not this exact crop. I had a different one, but um, cropped high neck crop tops. That is what's going on this, this season. And I am here for it because I got it in three different white ones. I got it in black. I have it in gray. I have it in blue. Um, I am living for this. I love it. I love to have this area covered up. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my body type. Maybe it's just my style. I don't know, but it is the trend right now. And I am very happy about it. Okay. Next thing. Oh, here's, and here's the black one. So again, I've worn it. So it's been washed and it's inside out. And this is the black one. So I would wear this black crop top with, oh guys, this is cute. I'll try this outfit on for you. I mean, I have a ton of outfits. I can't try them all on, but I'm going to try several. So this is the cutest skirt. And for, yes, you can wear it in the fall. Um, and you could put a pair of tights on with it. Um, and you can wear like a maybe a turtleneck uh, thin sweater with a pair of boots. I mean, this is from Forever 21 and it's got a slit up the side so you can see. But I love the material. It's gonna be popular in the fall. It's popular in the spring. It's gonna be popular in the summer. Um, you cannot go wrong with these skirts. I would love to get one of these in just like an off-white or a champagne with no slit and you can wear something like that with a white t-shirt, crop top, um, black. I love this skirt. It is so comfortable. It's so versatile. You can wear it for every season um, and just pair it different ways. This is how I have it paired today with just the high neck um, tank top. Again, guys, this is from Target, but I'm telling you these is, yeah, I can't speak today. These are such a trend right now. Everyone's going to be wearing them. So go pick yourself up some. Target has them in a many different colors. So grab a couple of for yourself and you can pair them so many different ways. But this skirt, guys, I absolutely love. It is so cute. Now, I don't know. The only problem with a skirt like this, guys, you can see 
see I just had it tucked in right there and it just you could totally see it so that's the only thing about the these types of skirts is that you can't really tuck anything in because it shows every single lump bump and everything else but um, I do like it like you don't have to tuck it in you can tie it up you can um, tuck your top under like this so that it's more um, cropped is the skirt I haven't worn this yet I've tried to wear it and I got this at Forever 21 um, I think this is still on the site, but I wanted to wear this with just a crop top, but this is so wide right here. Now, if you're someone with a bigger bottom, bigger hips and bigger butt with a tiny little waist, this is definitely for you. Now I don't have a big butt and I don't have big thighs, so I could not fill this out. I'm going to put it on for you with a crop top so you can see it and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about and what body type would look stellar in this. Um, but it is so cute. I think that this is an amazing little skirt. I would have worn the crap out of this. Um, but unfortunately, once you see it on me, you'll see why. So cute. Okay, here is that camo skirt with um, the, a white top and leopard sandals now i've told you guys before i really love to mix my leopard and my animal print with camo i just think it's such a thing i really like it so um i love this skirt i really do but you can see like i love the gathering right here i love the little um extra fabric up at the top but you can see that i am not filling this out but it almost i don't know i just i i love this distressed bottom the hem is so cute I just, I don't know guys, I just don't feel like it really does anything for my body shape. Um, I feel like it does the opposite of what you really want it to do. So yeah, as much as I love this and I think it would look really cute on the right person, I just don't think I'm that person that could pull this off and make it look um, like it's meant for me to wear. So yeah, although I love the idea, this would look stellar like on a, like a pear shape um, body type, I think it would be really, really cute. Another spring essential for me, and I wear these a ton because I just think that jumpsuits are made for my body type. So whatever, I'm, st I'm stuck in between whether I think that I'm a gamine or I'm a theatrical romantic and I cannot really figure it out because I'm shorter and I am angular, but I also have, um, longer lines so sometimes i look to be a little taller than i actually am just because of the structure of my body um so maybe that's why i don't really know but this is the jumpsuit it is just a tank top i wanted this originally in gray and they didn't have it they sold out so i got it in this color now this is not um this isn't a bad color i don't know if it's picking it up really well it's it is blue but uh, i got this in a size small and i believe it was from fashion nova um again i'll show it on my, my body so you can kind of see what it looks like but uh again if i had this in gray with this sweater that would be that's what i wanted that's the that's the look that i wanted that's the the look that i was going for now these together just don't do the same thing, but I'm gonna put it on and show it to you anyway. Um, and I'll link, um, I'll link this down below so you can see. I believe it's still on there in different colors as well. Believe for me, but I, as you can see, like I, I do like this style on my body. It's just you can't wear this like everywhere. You know, I feel like I wanted to wear it like to pick up my kids. I wanted to wear it, you know, from school and. If I could just throw something over it, I think it would be really cute, but I can't, you know, you can't have this all hanging out when you're going to pick up your kids, but what do you wear with this? What's, what kind of sweater am I going to wear with this? Or what color would you wear with this? What color sweater or what cover up? What, what, how would you wear it? Let me know it down in the comments below how you would wear this. What would you pair with it? Um, cause I really do want to wear it around. I just don't feel comfortable enough and haven't found that perfect sweater or jacket or what, what can I wear with this to make it more appropriate that I can. 
My next thing is everybody needs a dress for spring that you can wear with, you can throw sneakers on with it, you can throw sandals, you can throw a little pair of booties. Um, and this is the one that I'm gonna show you. Um, and this is from Boohoo, from their night collection, I believe. Yeah, from their night collection. And I got this in a size US 8. So, and believe it or not, this actually fits me. So, I don't wear a US 8, but apparently in um, this dress, I do. So, it is just this little ruffle detail on the sleeve, little ruffle detail at the bottom. It's kind of a straight bodied dress with a little mock neck, I guess this is what it's called. Um, and I would wear this with, I'm going to pair it with maybe just a pair of my gold um, or my clear sandals and I'll show that to you. But yeah, this is something that you could get a ton of wear out of. You can wear this to lunch. You can wear it to um, anywhere really. Um, it is the fabric I'll tell you is a little thicker. Um, so I tend to wear this probably um, that in a little toward the evening time, I even would wear this in the fall. Um, Cause you could totally pair this with some things and make it a fallish type of outfit. But yeah, I think this is cute. I'll show this on and I'll insert a picture. So this is the dress and I love the little frills on it. I love the little ruffles and I put it with my, um, just my clear mule type sandals. And yeah, I like this outfit. I think it's cute. Do you see what I mean? I feel like it makes my legs look really long. Maybe not, but to me it does. So I think this is such a cute piece that I can pretty much wear with anything or I can wear anywhere. It's um, very versatile and I think it's really cute. So yeah, what do you guys think of it? I mean, it doesn't flatter my shape really, really well, but I mean, I don't think it looks bad either. I think it's just like a conservative little dress. So, and everyone has, I would hope, a jean jacket, right? So this is the one that I have from Air Pastel. I'm gonna pair this with probably my favorite pair of black jeans and just a white crop top. That's how I would pair these and a pair of sandals or white sneakers. Um, I will try this on for you too, but um, people usually will say that this is like totally not something they would do together. They wouldn't do a blue jean and a black jean. You'll see, it is really, really cute. Here is the black cropped jeans with the jean jacket and just the, I have the cropped high neck tank top with it and my Air Max sneakers. And I just roll up the sleeves of my jean jacket. I just gives it a better, just gives it a little bit of a um, more casual laid back look. Yeah, I think this really does go well together. I know it's very versatile. Um, I would wear it probably with my Miranda Fry necklaces that I just tried to get on, but my nails are so long that I can't put them on by myself. So yeah, very, very cute, very casual. You can wear this anywhere um, and you can take this from day to night very easily. And again, with another, I need a blue jean. So for spring, you have a black jean and a blue jean. Now I stayed away from the white jean guys because everybody is showing white jeans right now so um i'm just going to show the blue jeans and i'm going to show these where this is an off-white blazer um, and you could wear this with just a white bandeau top and a pair of blue jeans and a pair of little booties a pair of little sandals um, with some wedges with a mule uh, i will show this uh with um how i i'll show you how i paired this so this is the blazer with the jeans and I just paired them with my gold uh, mule type sandals. And yeah, I really like this look. It's so easy and simple. Now you can wear it with a little crop top like this. I personally probably would not wear it like that just because I'm a mom and I don't need my stomach all hanging out. But um, I know that that is a look for a lot of people. I probably would just tuck this in and yeah, I would wear it like that. So this is just a little bandeau top that I would tuck into my jeans. And yeah, I would pair it with um, these little sandals. I think it's really cute, very versatile, and I, you could wear this anywhere.
and I feel super comfortable in it. There's those. And the last couple things I'm going to show you um, are my sandals and a little bit of jewelry and a purse that I think is important to have in your closet. So starting, I already showed you these. I wear them all spring, all summer. Um, you need a pair of black sandals in your life and just even for to throw on, to run your errands, they go with everything. So um, my next one is not so much um, Everyone needs them, but they are on trend this uh, this year. They will be on trend in the spring and summer again this year as they were last year. But there are these, um, I got these, I got these online and I, I'm trying to think, jane.com is where I got these. Um, these are really, really cute. They'll come out again if you, I'll try to link them below. Jane.com is more of like a boutique-y, type of online store so things come and they go so these will probably make their way back on the site uh, probably closer to summer but the, I know for sure that they have some like that on there right now they're just not exactly like these um, but yeah jane.com is a really great site but again if you don't get it right away it's gone but the good thing is is they do bring it back it may be months months later but they do bring it back most of the time so these they have great texture they have great print so that's why i love these it's not just uh for the print but the texture of these as well it's like a linen uh, material and i can really play these up with like a satin like like i said the satin um or the silky skirt would be cute with a with a different texture i just love to mix patterns i love to mix textures i know it's not for everybody but i i like to do it and another thing that's gonna be popular this year are um, gold shoes. They were popular last year. They're still popular. Um, and these I got from Lulu's, super cute. Um, you just slip them on. I haven't worn them yet. They still have the, ta the little tape on them, but you can wear these with basically anything. That's why I love them. They're not too high. They're very, very comfortable. This is probably, uh, three inch heel um, so something I could literally walk around New York City in and not have a problem um, another thing that you're gonna need is a pair of clear shoes because that is the trend this year and same type of idea except the heel is completely round at the bottom on these and they are clear I meant to show you my wedges and they're downstairs if I get a second I'll go down and grab them but yeah these are cute too um, so versatile guys. I was not here for the clear trend, but once I saw it on so, so many people, um, it just elongates your leg. Like I've never seen. It literally looks like your legs are 10 feet long, which who doesn't want to have long legs, right? I mean, I do. So yeah, these are great. They really look good with just about anything. And the last couple things everybody needs is a white pair of sneakers. Now these are from probably a year ago. Uh, these are the <clears throat> Air Max um, and they're dirty, but you'll see I wear white sneakers a ton. So, and you can pair them with anything. You can wear them with what I have on. You can wear them. You can dress down a really pretty floral dress for spring just by putting a pair of sneakers on. Um, don't be afraid to do that stuff, guys. It is totally on trend to wear sneakers with a dress. I know it sounds crazy, and especially if you're a little older, not going to be your thing, but if you can pull it off, pull it off. You know, it is cute. It is trendy. Um, so I can't pull off all the trends because of my age, obviously, but if I can pull it off and make it look decent, I will. Um, I'm not, I'm not, a hundred. I mean, I feel like most of these styles, if you do them right, the trends can be worn by any age group if you know how to do it. So don't be afraid of the trends. Just look for those ways that you can wear them. Um, if you're 60, you can still wear sneakers with a dress. You just have to figure out what works for you and how it works for your body type. That's the most important thing, how you're wearing it. Um, but you can do it. You just have to do a little research and see what looks good on your body, what the pattern is, and just how you're going to put it all together. The last thing I'm going to talk about, this video is getting long, 
is uh, my Miranda Fry um, jewelry. So I am not at all affiliated with any of these uh, brands or any of these um, clothing brands or jewelry, anything, but I wear Miranda Fry jewelry all of the time. It's basically all I wear. Um, and I will link the um, website down below. But this is, I think I showed this in my camo video, but this is the, I think it's the Alex necklace. I'll try to come closer so you can see it. This is the Alex necklace and this is one of the charms. So, so pretty guys. It does not fade. It does not um, make it a funky color. Here's another one. I think this is also the Alex. No, it's not the Alex chain. Honestly, guys, I can't remember exactly what um, the name of this necklace is, but I'm going to show it to you. So this is the necklace. Can you see that? It kind of looks similar, but yet it's not the same. Um, this is the Hope Charm. Oops, backwards. That's the Hope Charm. Really, really pretty. Um, a couple of other, I have a few of her charms. I have Peace and I also have, and I can't find it, my girls probably have it. And this is the other one. It's just a, like a little, like a little bird. Just so, so pretty guys. She's got amazing quality jewelry. Um, I really, really like it. I wear it a ton. Like I said, it's pretty much the only jewelry that I wear. But yeah, this is really a good one. Um, all right, guys. So that is my ultimate guide to spring essentials. And I hope that you're still here and you've made it through this whole video. Um, and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and give me a like because it helps me out and ring that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in your next one.